So yeah, secret government uh, just dropped, I think on the, I think it was on the 15th. I might be wrong about that, but just came out of early access. Just, it's fresh and hot, uh, like, uh, like, like some hot bread, which I'll probably be baking later after the stream because, uh, we are running low on fresh baked bread at home here. Um, and, uh, it is available on Steam. If you do exclamation mark what game, you will see a link there where you can check out the Steam page. Again, this stream is sponsored by, uh, I think it's 1C Entertainment. The, the, the secret government people. The Illuminati are basically sponsoring the stream is the way it's going to work. Mm -mm -mm. Thanks for the gift subs, Warwolf. <clears throat> is it banana bread? No, it's actual bread. Banana bread isn't bread. It's, I was going to say cake, but really banana bread is like a muffin, is, is really what it is. It's a muffin you bake into a loaf pan. Change my mind. <laughs> um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, uh, there are two sort of more flavory scenarios in addition to free play over here. Um, chat, you can let me know what you feel, but I kind of think the first one actually might be the most appealing. So the first of our mission lists over here are scenarios. The Glorious Revolution. In 1688, the Glorious Revolution in England culminated in profound reforms after a series of crises. The, this revolution marked the beginning of the rapid rise of England and its transformation to a powerful, uh, powerful world power. The political and economic power of the country was strengthened, laying a solid foundation for the future a formal unity of Great Britain. At the same time, a new tradition was formed that the royal power is limited by the laws established by the Bill of Rights. Brotherhood started action in 1685, so three years before the scenario, by placing its stake on a loyal king to lead England to this prosperous future. So that's mission number one. Mission number two, the New World. In 1775, the world is divided between the colonial powers. With the stroke of a pen, European monarchs rule the lives of many all around the globe and consider themselves almighty. But the Brotherhood knows that the future is on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean in the colonies of North America. There, the concept of a nation was born, and the Brotherhood is ready to play a god. Also, it gives us plenty of opportunity to make, like, Hamilton references and things like that. And then we got free play mode over here. So, with the first two, you get a bit of a, um, of a story kind of, kind of thrown in. <clears throat> oh, people want the second, the number two? We could do a quick little poll. Let me do a quick little poll in, in chat, since I, I now know how those, uh, how those functions work. Where's the manager poll? Uh, new poll. Um, which mission? So we have, um, 1688 England, uh, 1775 New World, or free play, uh, start poll. So this is going to be running for a minute. You should be able to click on it at the, within the chat window over here. Uh, or you can do, I think slash vote and one, two, or three. But you should actually just be able to like click on it on the screen. So that'll run for a minute. While that's running, let's read some resubs that have come in. We got Drotten Ulfer, who just resubbed for 54 months. Thank you very much, Drotten. Life Until Love has a one-year twitch anniversary. Thank you very much, Life Until Love. CLDR Valinor, 35 months. Um, Warwolf gifted some subs. Thank you very much, Warwolf. Uh, we got a resub from Staten... St Dindera at five months. Uh, Fletcher Reed with a five year Twitch anniversary, 60 months from Fletcher Reed. Desert Tiger at six months. Lord Grave Witch at 37. Sereth Wing at 57. T Burner at 38. T Burner. It's I can't believe you would burn your teeth. Red Pandalorian at 27 months, which is a great name. Aegeon at 32 months. Dalxian at nine months of Twitch, baby. Uh, and we just got whiskey and chocolate from. Uh, oh, first of all, I missed it from uh, Warwolf uh, seven minutes ago. Thank you very much, Warwolf with the Whiskey and Chocolate. So what game are you making me buy this time? Well, you're about to find out. Uh, and Bullardard's Big Kahuna, thank you very much. Uh, YouTube fan, accidentally caught stream. Time to offer up some pennies for the Whiskey and Chocolate. Thanks for the amazing content, which has been a comfort in hard times. Much love from Northwest England. Excellent. I, England, I have really not explored. I've been to Scotland a bunch of times, including a big road trip in Scotland. Um, and then uh, I did go to London and spend like three, four days in London. But that is it. I have not seen any other part of England, which really, really needs to happen here. Uh, we still got some more resubs coming in. Uh, so there was Dalxian at nine months. Uh, Sinister Danoon at 22 months. Cyborg at 22 months. Cyborg, which, whose name keeps showing up in our uh, CK3 Let's Plays. Uh, Mills Del Miss Delta Phoenix at 19 months. Tiger Master at 15 months. Swamp Slug, who also shows up in our CK3 games, at 53 months. Uh, Warwolf also resub for 56 months. A Carriel at 37 months. T-Bone Jenks at 14. Um, Mach 1 Fireman at two months. 
months. Erixit at 78 months from Erixit. Satani at 26 months. Lacosta at 41 months. Dinalon at 19. <laughs> oh, who also says, should we take a moment and appreciate it, Sunshine Neon Mods? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, although it's possible she might not be sitting down yet. I don't know. I, uh... I know she was maybe going to run late. Oh, there oh, there's Essentia and Rhino are in the chat. Excellent. Wonderful. Uh, Eden Stargazer at 43 months. Reg Cooper at 88 months from Reg Cooper. Incandescent Goat at 36 months. There's a three-year Twitch anniversary. Um, and we got some gift subs. Yeah, the gift subs from Cool Man Nachos, which go to Unexplained Nachos, appropriately enough, at 15 months. Adderthad at four months. Judicious at two months. Dream Of has resubbed for 21 months. Why Me at 70 months. Seven zero months. Thoth at 50 months, Rodical at 47, Thunderous Calm at 13, Mark Hecklem at 30 months. Thank you very much for that. Now, what were the poll results? Boom, 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 view results. Uh, 1688 England oh, just barely snuck ahead of the 1775 New World. So we had 556 votes for England, 508 votes for the New World, and then 131 votes for the free play. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's go Glorious Revolution over here. Brothers, all calculations and prophecies say the days will come that will determine the future of mankind. England is a key point in the map of our time. What will be embodied in it now over the years will sprout all over the world. The feudal system has outlived its usefulness and many in England already see it. It is here and now that our large scale reforms can be implemented. The new society can assert itself. Roll up your sleeves, brother. The place is prepared. It's time to lay foundations. I gotta say, that would probably get me on board. Uh, yes, I want to overwrite the custody of the save. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. And this is one of the things, it's like, I would tab out on the screen, I go, oh, load in the game. I would tab out and then come back and like, oh, why didn't it progress? Because the game pauses when you tab out. Going back to Europe, hoping to outrun the storm. I don't know how well you guys can hear this. Spent many months interpreting the prophecies of Nostradamus. What I read left me shaken. According to scientific minds of our time, everything obeys the laws of nature. The planets move in their orbits, and an apple will always fall down. Um, let me... Oh no! Tabbing out! Kill the cutscene! Oh, darn it! Yeah, I would have to go back to the main menu to, uh, to tweak the sounds. Oh no, it's still there. Okay, um... But yeah, I can't boost it anymore, other than... I, I can shut up. That's the most I can do. You can put your volume up for a bit while this is going on. Nautic and uncertain. One need only look at the Europe of recent decades. A powerful English king was executed by his own subjects. The rivalry between Catholic monarchs of the Holy Roman Empire and France brings wars to Protestant countries. The Spanish Empire is growing weaker, while the wetlands of the Netherlands enjoy the bloom in culture and trade. The great Galileo renounced his books. This world is complete chaos for everyone, except us, those who control it. We are the Brotherhood, and we make history. We stand behind the high and mighty of this world, secretly guiding them. We are the global government, formed by the most worthy. We like to say that our work began when the builders of the Temple of Solomon gathered to create the greatest temple of all. This is just legend, but we are indeed builders. Brick by brick, we are building the structure of the future society. We always work in the shadows. A little reference to the stone messings. Adamus foresaw everything. Peering into the future, he described the storms of this and future centuries and the Brotherhood, leading humanity forward. He left us clues to solve, and he says, Beware. I'm coming back to take my place in the Brotherhood. I haven't forgotten what you taught me, and I will join you in the great world of ours. But I fear the storm has already come. Okay, yeah, so we got uh, stonemason references, lots of stuff with Nostradamus. I like the idea that these guys, um, you know, use the works of Nostradamus as a guiding principle. Really good. Insert Simps the Simpsons Stonecutter song. Oh my god! Who keeps the metric system down? We do. We do. Um, so, all right. So I have played through the sort of intro scenario tutorial kind of thing. Um, uh, but, you know, just the game just came out. So still fairly fresh for me. 
I had great hopes for my return to England, but it was too late. For though I brought the Brotherhood to the New World and was sailing back to- Hey, Tony! Rip those- Oh. <laughs> right, you guys probably cranked the volume, and then I cut in. My bad. Uh, but it was too late, for though I brought the Brotherhood to the New World and was sailing back to bring the good news to my Grand Master, my mentor, I first saw trouble. I translated the obscure prophecies of Nostradamus, and they showed me all. No triumph awaited me on those rusty docks, only two agents of tragedy. One was a beardless young man with a feverish gleam to his eyes. The other was a short-sighted old man. The young man was a novice, and as I recall, the old man never left my master's side. They greeted me with sorrow and led me through the dark alleys to a boat. With the swaying of the boat, I learned that my brotherhood was no more. The Grand Master and many high-ranking members were tried for heresy and conspiracy. Their bodies hung on the city walls. Now, only we remain. And I swear that our army enemies will regret this day. So we've got dialogue options over here while you're heading your faith youth, or I, I thought you would not leave the master's house until you died, old man. I wanted to die there, but someone needs to care for the manuscripts. I could even destroy them so as not let them fall into the wrong hands. Have you given up? Better give them to me than look for a safer place. Sure, our journey is just beginning, or wait to bury the Brotherhood, old man. We still have to pass on our experience to the young. I, I mean, I, they sound about the same. We'll go number two over here. And then Walter over here. You speak about the future of the Brotherhood with such confidence, but there are only three of us. The Brotherhood's tides are broken, but they're still an undisclosed part of our network in England. We will start by reviving it, restoring influence. Brotherhood's not about people, but a principle. We've spent years learning to find supporters. Uh, the new brothers will be as good as the old ones. Sure. We need a new Grand Master. If you are truly ready for this burden, it is in my power to perform the ritual and make you one. I am the oldest member of the Brotherhood. I was the archivist to three Grand Masters, and I know all rules. Traditionally, I have to ask you a few questions. That is how we know where you will lead us. I am ready. Ask. All right. Get ready for, for some votes over here, you guys. Will you condemn the one who starts the war? So we can say, war is ever loathsome. Oh, do I, I'm not getting tooltips over here. In the pre-release version, you would get little tooltips that would tell you what impact this would have. This one was going to give our brotherhood plus 10 pacifism. This one was going to give our brotherhood minus 10 pacifism. So presumably this is still happening behind the screens. So I can say war is ever loathsome, or he will do evil, but sometimes it can bring more than it takes away, or conflict is in human nature, war exists, so let us serve them. So how militant is our secret society? One, two, or three, lots of votes for three. Seems to be pretty overwhelming. <laughs> All right, yeah, this is, number three is our brand of pacifism, right? When everyone else is destroyed, there will be no more war. All right, next poll. Is it fair that some people throw away food while others are starving? Option one, anyone who has earned bread with his sweat and hand can decide what to do with it. So we got the sort of capitalist libertarian kind of vibe on number one. Number two, he might have given a little to his neighbor so long as the latter did not beg while keeping most of it for himself. Or number three, animal justice tells us to tear each other's throats. Human justice tells us to share with our neighbors and help the weak. So three is the sort of, um, you know, generous, egalitarian kind of vibe. Feels like three is pretty overwhelming here. There's a little bit more balance. It's unlike the first question, but three still seems to lead the way. There we go. So we're going to be um, egalitarian warmongers. Sure, that, that, that sounds about right. That actually sounds pretty much on brand. Next one. What do you say about a country that demands sacrifice from its children? The government is more than the individual. Every citizen of the country contributes to the common cause. Or, neither a man can be without his country, nor a country without man. And you will have to find a compromise between your goals. Or, um, the government is only a tool in the service of the citizens. If the individual feels only oppressed, then why should it exist? We're not talking about children here. We're talking about like that sort of parent-child relationship between govern the, the government and the citizens. So basically, what's the most important thing? Is it... Um, the unity and authority and paternalism of the government, or is it the freedom of the individual, or is it somewhere in between? I feel like three is not the one here. Ones and maybe twos. I feel like ones might be leading over here. Ooh, it's tight. 
Maybe neutral choice then. Yep. All right. I like it. Neither a man can be without his country nor country without man. You'll have to find a compromise between the goals. So really it's about trying to make both work at the same time. Okay. I listened to your answers. Now I know which society you're striving for. So there you go. War is inevitable, must serve a purpose. Property must be fairly distributed among the people. And we have no particular balance one way or another between uh, individual liberty and authoritarianism. Um, so yeah, you understand me correctly. Done. You will become the Grand Master and revive the Brotherhood. We will help you to bring vision to for your vision to fruition. So say I, Brother Isaiah. I will forget my face, my name, my past. Now my life belongs to the Brotherhood. Its secrets are my secrets. Its goals are my future. A girl has no name. Or, um, I'm trying to think of like Fight Club references, right? Where like you don't have a name until you die or whatever. Some sort of thing like that. So, on my first night back in England, I became the Grand Master, a ritual performed by the river under a shining night. Uh, I'm not going to do the old man voice again because it's actually killing my throat. Grand Master, take these vague prophecies of Nostradamus and the Brotherhood manuscripts. Your predecessors worked hard on them. They learned from predictions what moments will shape the destiny of the world. Yeah, they describe the principles job. of our great work. Banana! Make a man a fire and he'll be warm for the night. Set a man on fire, he'll be warm for the rest of his life. There's some there's some secret society philosophy for us from the banana. Thank you very much. His name was Robert Paulson. Exactly, yes. Um, so describe the principles of our great work. If you can use these principles at the moments foreseen by Nostradamus, you'll become the demiurge of the world to come. I don't know this word. Demiurge. A being responsible for the creation of the universe. In Platonic philosophy, it's the maker or creator of the world. Gnosticism is on the things, a heavenly being, subordinate to the supreme being, considered to be a controller of the material world, and antagonistic to all that's purely spiritual. Huh! That is new to me. All right. I know that. Unfortunately, I also know that what is told in the previously unencrypted predictions. The Brotherhood will die more than once. It's whiskey and chocolate. Hey, Warwolf! The old archivist worked for three previous grandmasters. That's sus. Yeah, that's true. Maybe he keeps assassinating them. That's true. To die again, you need to be reborn. I believe that with your help, the Brotherhood will rise like a phoenix from the ashes. But I have to tell you something else. The former master had two hiding places. I never looked into the second, for our enemies knew about it. When I hid, I saw them taking some papers away. There were make markings of a rose and a cross on them. And above there was a name. A Rosenkreuz. I saw the same mark on the clasp of a raincoat of one of the thieves. So we have an enemy... Secret society, possibly, the Rosen crews out there operating. Okay. Uh, where do we start? We'll start with England. According to the predictions in Nostradamus, we are close to the time when events that determine the course of history will take place. But first, we'll restore Bork and Ties, recruit new supporters, and do everything possible to find and punish those who condemn our brothers to death. So, um, what was that other game that we were playing that had a similar sort of thing where the intro to the game was like, sort of um, uh, a series of questions and things like that that would sort of shape the core identity of our organization. Suzerain, yes, that's right, yeah. So get a, like, a bit of a, a vibe that way. Um, and so the the no tutorial option is locked. I did do the tutorial um, before, so maybe it didn't get completely completed or or maybe it's um, maybe it's always locked in this scenario. But that's okay. We'll, that, that's actually going to be pretty fine for to guide us in the start here. So will you put me on the detail, Brother Isaiah? All right. So, uh, thank you, Retrust. trust. Since our voyage to the New World, the situation in Europe has changed. No longer does the influence of the Brotherhood reach across the continent. Hey, no one! Happy Saturday. This game seems to be made for me. No one is a member of Secret Society. This game seems to be for me. Oh, no one is a member of a secret world. I see. Yes. Because you are no one is what he appears. Secret world control and cabal. Yeah, no one is what he appears. That makes a lot of sense. All right. No longer does the influence of the Brotherhood reach across the continent. Global view. Uh, we're in shadow mode right now. Ooh. And uh, we can use WASD or edge scrolling to scroll around. I'm afraid I'm too old. We'll have to rely on Brother Walter to revive the Brotherhood. He's young and I sense that he's a worthy candidate. He'll be a trusted ally. You and your allies have taken refuge in England. Find Brother Walter on the map and zoom in on him. He's right over there. So we'll just zoom in a little bit. When you're zoomed out enough, the map switches to world mode. It tracks the situation in the world, shows the scope of the knowledge of the civilized world. So we'll keep zooming in here. There he is, right here. Um, Grandmaster, I'm ready to serve the Brotherhood. So Walter Wilson, he's a worshipful master. He is English, and his secrecy level is 101, and his health is 4 out of 4. This is the Brother Selector. It shows the current status of your brothers. Brother Walter is the only one currently in command. Left-click on his portrait. will automatically focus the camera on his location. 
I know someone who could be useful to the Brotherhood. He can provide us with safe haven. Should I recruit him? Yep. So, what you can do is you can click on your dudes in the world, and then you get this pop-up menu with all the actions you can take. In the tutorial mode right here, most of them are currently locked. So we go to Brotherhood mode, and here there's a ton more options, and then we're going to recreate a neophyte. And we get this screen. So we have 100% chance of success. I mean, tutorial, there's nothing that's going to stop, you know, they're, they're going to want to make sure it progresses. Uh, send Brother Walter to begin the errand. I think the chance of success goes down as you get more neophytes as well. So you can always recruit the first few, like, guaranteed slash easily. The Sims ruled this back. Ah, can he be renamed? That's a great question. I'm not sure. All right, so we're going to send him on this errand. It's going to cost us a little influence, a little bit of money, no power. Um... And it will, it, it will, will be explained actually a little bit later in the tutorial what all these mean. Um, but different missions will decrease the secrecy of the Brotherhood and maybe increase awareness of us in a country. It's going to take a few days for on the errand. Remember, it's dangerous for us to act in the open. When the Alt key is pressed, you'll see information about all the brothers and their errands. There you go. See, recruit a neophyte whenever I'm holding that down. Uh, clicking the right mouse button on a brother will display information about him in the last errand they ran. No place we can wait for his return, not the safest place, so do for now. So this is the Cryptex. With it, you can control time the game. Space bar, you can pause or unpause. Pretty straightforward. And we actually get a day countdown over here of our brother and the work that they're doing. Boom! Done and done. Come, Grandmaster. I found a safer place to hide. So we can click on Brotherhood Management. So we've recruited Roger Jimson. This is the Brotherhood Management window. With it, you'll be able to control the membership of the brothers and their roles. Let us begin the Brotherhood's traditional meeting, albeit at a smaller scale for now. In accordance with the Brotherhood ne manuscripts, our new recruit is given the rank of Neophyte, the first stage of initiation. The Neophyte remains in service of the Brotherhood in the country where they were recruited and are fit only to run simple errands. Given the current situation, we should grant our new friend the authority of Master. No, we'll give him a seat on a council, but we won't give him the title of Master. No, that would be stupid. Could you imagine? That would be dumb. I'm afraid we won't be able to cope with anything alone. Yep, so he, he's getting an instant promotion because we really need more people. <clears throat> this is outrageous! Exactly. I hate bending the rules, but in this case, you're right, Brother Walter. We need another master. Masters are the highest level of initiation below Grand Master. Six trusted brothers capable of running the most important errands. The Magistrate is divided into six titles. Each title has its own powers and sits high amongst the Brotherhood's hierarchy. Those who prove themselves unworthy, or who can no longer serve their purpose, can always be let go, after binding them with a vow of silence, of course. Remember that being demoted would be considered offensive and might deter them from being recruited again. It is time to meet our new brother and find out if we shall, should recruit him as an initiate. Select the neophyte with the left mouse button. This area in information about the secret brothers. They got traits, so this guy is brave. He's got xenophobia. He's basically a Stellaris race. Um, he's got wealth and a spotless reputation. So other than the fact that he hates foreigners and he's like totally pro-Brexit, um, this guy's going to be really useful for us. Allow me, Grandmaster, to show you the wisdom of choosing worthy companions. The first thing you should note is the age. Uh, the young are receptive to new ideas, learn fast, lack experience and wisdom. The older brother bring many valuable qualities, but also weaknesses and disease. Each brother has certain social status and professions, set of special traits. Yep, got it. Uh, having gained enough experience, brothers change and move to new stages in life. With each transition, new qualities are acquired. The profession and social status can change. So these things will change over time. As you notice, the citizenship of a brother is critical. Perhaps in the distant future, brotherhood will erase these fictional borders, but I fear I will not live to see that day. Each brother has their own opinion of the brotherhood. Some will carry out the Grand Master's errands faithfully, and some will question every word. Beware of the brothers of low loyalty, because they may betray you at the most desperate moment. And remember, loyalty is hard to earn, but easy to lose. We are more mortals in prison, fragile bodies, suffering from disease and wounds. Death can take away even your most loyal and experienced brothers. And finally, each brother must bear the burden of secrecy. Society should see him as an ordinary merchant, brother, or soldier, or craftsman. If exposed, the brother endangers not only himself, but the whole brotherhood. We have already witnessed the consequences of neglecting secrecy. Uh, yeah, well, that in the backstory, our brotherhood was, like, all but eliminated um, because not enough secrecy. You should give your brothers a chance to rest, recover up their tracks, and cast suspicion from themselves and restore their secrecy. All right, it's time to decide what to do with the neophyte. First, we'll need an orator and a treasurer. The orator will help find loyal followers quickly and increase the Brotherhood's numbers. The treasurer will restore the Brotherhood's resource base. Do we should we give him? Should we put him in the treasurer role so we get more money more faster, or should we put him in the orator so that we maybe recruit more people faster? Sudi says treasure. Treasure? Okay, we got a couple of early treasure things. I mean, money makes makes money, right? Seems good. 
So um, it'll increase the income from lodges, which you don't actually have any yet. Um, and some of the errands will also be cheaped for us. Oh, you're just click and drag. Yeah. Time will tell if you made the right call. What could possibly go wrong? Let's close this. Thank you for your trust. Oh, so this is Brother Roger. I share your goals and ready to serve faithfully. As proof, I entrust the Brotherhood with my connections and resources. Hey, 200 of the three resources in the game. Thank you for your timely help, my friend, but I fear it won't be enough. We are still lacking the resources if the issue is not addressed. This displays global resources because we collect these three resources. We collect them per country, and then we also have a global pool and they're used for different things. Let's see what we can achieve in this country. So select England on the map by clicking on it. So we will click on England over here. Each country has its own development levels for government, economic, and military institutions. The development level depends on many internal parameters. For us, the higher its value, the more resources we can gain by infiltrating its institutions. Luckily, England's currently a world leader in most of these fields. So yeah, global institutions here, 80, 70, 80. And we currently have 0% um, infiltration in any of these categories. Take a look at who are the key players managing England. So we got the government window over here. So these are the people who are working in all the various government positions, which is really cool that you get to see this bit breakdown and start targeting people. Uh, you can see how the government of countries organize, which individuals hold key government positions. Here you can see, you can also see the list of neophytes operating in the country. Though this win through this window, you can give errands to brothers whose rank is lower than master. Because yeah, our masters, we can target, we can grab over here. There's, there's the six positions and it's easy to target. Otherwise, the neophytes just live in a country, so you can access them this way. Grandmaster, there's a young lady who's fallen for me. Her father is a powerful man in the treasury. I think he can be used. Good idea, Brother Walter. Let's take advantage over this opportunity. So we're going to select the treasurer. There's the government window. Uh, you can see how the government of countries organized. Oh, no, we've already read this one. Um, I'm sure it's actually trying to tell me that I should go and try to recruit this person. There you go. Aaron's window. Learn the details of the Aaron. There. Oh, this looks a little different than when I was playing before. Um, it was a pull down menu. Now it's got these nice little buttons. So again, I, I when I was um, when I was practicing the game, I was practicing the early access version. So it's nice to see some UI tweaks over here with the release one. Why do the lines look like tentacles? Which lines? Oh, on the government screen. Oh yeah. I think the problem morphs to look like like vines or roots or a tree or something. I don't know. Father's twenty four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good point. Several methods to communicate with an official we want on the side. Persuasion is the safest method, but requires their interests aligned with ours. Bribery is universal, but not the most reliable. Intimidation is one of the most effective methods, but the consequences can be unpleasant. To complete the errand, the brother will need to arrange a meeting with the right people, use connections, spend money, employ shady individuals. All these expenses will be represented by the cost of the errand, which is influence, wealth, and power. Uh, any activity attracts attention, this is what I was talking about before, to the individual brother and brotherhood at a large. Don't forget that it takes time to complete a worthy task. Good things come to those who wait. Um, so I think at the bottom is the change. Yeah. Additional resources are required to complete this errand. At the bottom of each resource, the costs are displayed. And at the top, the amount will be gained after the errand is done. That's resources over here. There we go. So secrecy. I think... Um, yeah, running errand consumes secrecy of the brother assigned. Exhausting secrecy will result in the brother's exposure and the swift termination of the errand. The resources spent will be lost. Moreover, the brother will become an easy target until he covers track and restores his secrecy. So we really don't want to let our secrecy go down to zero on anyone. And presumably, and potentially, we may not even want them to get low on anyone. I don't know if there's a threshold there yet. It sounds like going to zero really bad, but for all I know, you know, once you get below 50, things are bad. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we got the guaranteed chance of success here in the tutorial, or, or at least maybe your first recruitment, I don't know. So this is like a little freebie, it's guaranteed to work. Uh, when operating in foreign countries, we, much as, we may attract the attention of authorities. Such attention is represented by awareness. So this is um, on the brotherhood as a whole in a country, as opposed to being linked to any particular brother. Rulers don't like it when someone tries to run their state from the shadows. Moreover, any country can easily destroy the brotherhood in direct confrontation. Of course, running an errand takes time, measured in days, keeping the brother preoccupied. Pay attention to projected effects and possible factors, yada, yada, yada. If there are multiple brothers in the same country that are available for the errand, you can change the active agent using the brother selected. So yeah, we can change who's going to do the job. Note the errand cost and results can vary when changing brother who runs it. We should send brother Walter or a new friend on the errand. Choice is yours. Send me, Grandmaster. Please, I'll not let you down. <laughs> Need I say more? So yeah, so we can choose. And again, the first one, we're going to have this guaranteed uh, success because it's just the first one. But normally, I think the... Um, um, 
I think Walter might be the better pick because he's actually handsome, which is apparently going to work pretty well.